hello and welcome to this training video brought to you by Coric Group. In this video, I'm going to go through how to create a project uh, within Trimble Access. So cr creating your products, your jobs, and linking your data within Trimble Access. Just a quick note, if you're using Sync Manager, you must create your project on Sync Manager to receive and transmit your data. For any of the field crew that are out and they create a new site and a new job and link whatever data they have via a USB key onto a controller will not be synced back to the office. So everything has to be done prior in uh, Trimble Sync Manager to send and receive uh, from the controller from the field crew to the office crew. So in this uh, training video, I'm going to create a project. Uh, then I'm going to create a job and then go through the templates. Then I will uh, go in and link some files. So here's a couple of sample files. So we've uh, DXF, which is our maps. So we can link maps, CSVs or point files, TTMs or surface files. We can also link 3D models, be it an IFC, a TRB. And then into roads, you can load land XML files, RXLs and etc. Job XMLs or anything uh, also attached into uh, Trimble Access. Okay, before I begin, you can actually visit our YouTube channel for Coric Training and Sport. In there, if I you find some useful um, helpful tips and videos on all types of Trimble products. And you can also feel free to browse our webpage on coricgroup.com for any of the latest technologies from the Trimble portfolio. So let's begin. So here we are in Trimble Access. Um, so I'm going to show you how to uh, create a project, uh, create a job, and then link files and bring you into this uh, map screen. Okay. So what you can do is you go into the menu or the handlebar and you go into project. So if you're out in the field and you're creating this brand new project, um, it will not show up in Sync Manager like I said earlier. So if you are creating new sites or new projects out in the field, it won't appear in Sync Manager, okay? So when you go to new and go into sites, so I'm gonna call this Coric uh, Topo site. Uh, description, I'm just gonna go uh, Topo. Reference, just call it K1. Location, we're gonna put Ireland. And then an image, if you have an image, you can browse to an image and save it and it'll appear in the image for your project. You hit enter and create. And what that does, uh, creates a new project. Okay, so it'll ask you, do you want to create a job now from a template or create from a job XML or DC? So you can literally create a job straight away or you actually can escape that and just open your project as a blank project. So I'll just show you, you can create from a template. If you are creating from a Java XML or DC file, if you select that, it'll give, ask you to give a job name and a format. So you'll be able to go in there and select a Java XML or a DC file, just to note the DC file, if your site is calibrated and you're importing a DC into your Trimble Access, so you can create a template, it has to be version 10.7. Uh, there is two versions, so there's a version 10 and a 10.7, okay? So if I go create from template, and I'm going to call it ITM, top up, and then you have template. So in template, there are already pre-installed templates, so you can see there I have 15 ITM ROI. Uh, so you have the 15 GIs, or uh, 2002, and you also have, uh, if you're in the UK, OSTN 15 or 02. Okay, so I'm going to pick ITM ROI. It'll populate the coordinate system for me. In units, it's meters. But just to show, if you click in there, all the display in there, I can go into my coordinate order. You'll see that mine is northeast. So if I did export out a CSV, uh, the coordinates will be uh, northeast instead of east north. So I can drop that down and go east north. Accept that. Uh, linked files is where you uh, link your uh, CAD drones or your points files, CSV or your models. So if you click in there, you see that there's a points file tab and a maps file tab. So I'm going to go into maps, I'm going to go to browse, and I have a DXF here, 
then I'm going to link. So I'm going to click on it once so you can see it, and then you click it again to make it active. Okay, so you hit accept, and then your feature library, you select that, and you pick your FXL. So, you, so this is your Corec FXL file. In there, you'll have all your attributes for your surveys. So if you feel that you have an extra attribute to add in the field, you can do so. Uh, and in there, you can also put in the operator name, and then you know what you require. So hit accept. And then that creates the job and your map and it defaults straight into the map screen but if i go back to menu you'll see that it says project and there's your job so if i select on my job uh the circle with the plus indicates the new job uh in here the status is new so you have another two options you've in progress or you've uh, fee work complete so if you tick that you can sync it back up uh, or send it to the office that the job is complete just uh there as well in your job you can go into the properties of the job so if you want to unlink it there or change a feature library or change anything in there you can do so you can also import or export so if you went into export you can export your csv files or a DW, uh, dxf your cad and you can copy but you'll notice here there's another little folder and that's a subfolder so within the project i have a fo so i have a project folder within that folder i have just a job uh, itm topo but if i want to break up the, the project into subfolders like uh, zone a zone b zone c i can hit the plus and go just go phase one okay and hit create that'll create a new folder and it'll say to create a new job so if i go back one go into menu go into job you see now there's a phase one i can open that and go a new job and i'll just go um excavation I'm going to keep all the same stuff but i'm not going to link the file this time i'm just going to get enter and accept and, just, and then i can actually connect to my gps and survey away so what i'll do is i'll show you what this main display is then so that is my project and that's my job created so you notice i didn't link that previous job so that's what these two pages does here so i can also link in here so the two pages the layers so you can click in there go back into browse go back into my map tick the box activate it and accept and now i'm back in um to my map in a later video you'll see all the what these icons are used for so for now in my menu i have my job created so my site is created my job is done i went out to the field i loaded my drone i did my survey i come back to my job and when i'm finished my job at the end of the day I'm going to go work complete okay and then that's done and that can be sent if it was created in sync manager it will be sent back to the office saying that that job is complete i hope you enjoyed that video and uh, that's how you create your project and create a job uh open up your templates and link uh data into your job okay thanks